People packed the Jefferson County Courthouse today for the start of a high profile intoxication manslaughter trial. That man, Luis Torres, is accused of driving drunk and killing Beaumont police officer Sheena Yarbrough Powell nearly two years ago. Torres' family and friends showed up by the dozens and on the other side, the men and women in blue who came to support their fallen sister. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. This is a trial that almost didn't happen because Torres originally pled guilty. Then he changed his mind. Let's get straight to 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert, who was at the courthouse all afternoon. Cam? Yeah, Jordan, it was a difficult day for both sides in this case. On day one, the jury heard from multiple witnesses, including Officer Gabriel Fells, who was driving the police unit and survived the crash that night. The jury also watched the dash cam footage showing every moment of that deadly crash. A jury of eight men and four women will decide the fate of Luis Torres. Torres was 18 at the time of the crash. Now he's 20. We got a glimpse of him smiling and waving at family on his way into court. Inside, prosecutors warned jurors to prepare themselves for a week of misery, saying they'd be hearing disturbing details and seeing photographs they'd never be able to get out of their heads. The jury heard from Officer Gabriel Fels, who was driving the unit and survived the crash in August 2020. He admitted that he and Officer Yarbrough Powell were not wearing seat belts when they were hit head on. I think he, he did a great job and, and kept his composure and it's just an all around difficult position to be in. It's difficult to get on a witness stand at any point for anyone um, and most especially someone in law enforcement but also someone who is very much affected by the trauma. Then everyone in the room watched the final seconds of Officer Yarbrough Powell's life. They saw the moment of impact and heard Fells cry out for his fellow officer. Family members in court were distraught. There is a very distinct cry that a mother does. Mm, sorry. And there's a very specific cry that a mother does when they lose their child um, and anyone who loses a loved one. And so that's very difficult to hear. Jurors also heard from a separate witness who was driving on Highway 69 the night of the crash. He was able to dodge the alleged drunk driver. Defense attorney Bruce Smith is not involved in this case but tells us that could be significant. But it shows that uh, an intoxicated person is coming down the wrong way, and but yet and other cars uh, veered out of the way, and but the victim's car did not. Then the jury wants to know that, and, and they have they want to know why. Torres's defense attorney Tom Burbank offered no opening statements, so it's unclear what arguments they may present. Morrow says she and her colleagues won't rest until justice is served. Yeah, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it's for justice to be served, to hope that um, this is used as an example so that it doesn't happen to someone else, uh, so that this person can't do this to anyone else. And Torres had dozens of family and friends in court today. I did try speaking with them, but they declined. If convicted, he faces anywhere from 5 to 99 years in prison. I will be back in court tomorrow morning when testimony resumes. For now, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.